Hello everybody, good evening. I thought I would come on for a quick story. It's pre-recorded so you can watch it anytime you like. It's another new one, Karen has never read this one before either. So before we read the story, make sure you're snuggy, make sure you've got your favourite teddy or blankie or dolly or all of them. You know the drill by now, don't you? Alrighty, are you ready for tonight's story? I've never read this one. So it is called <laughs> Spider Sandwiches. Who's read this one before? I certainly haven't. This is our friend called Max. Mm. I think he likes to eat disgusting things. Shall we find out? I don't know if I'd like a spider sandwich, but let's find out what Max is like. Right, hope you enjoy. Do come to tea with Max. He has a monster appetite. He eats such yucky mucky food. His meal times are a fright. Max looks like a nice friend. Oh, I don't like what he's eating though. He loves to glug, slug milkshake through a stinky hosepipe straw. And as for beetle biscuits, he can always munch one more. Oh, look at the beetle biscuits. Mm, I don't know if I'd like one of them. Oh, what is he eating now? For breakfast every morning, he chews toenail scrambled eggs. Then guzzles down a smoothie made from squidged grasshopper legs. <laughs> he buys snacks on the internet from as far away as space. Spiky space ants, moon goo globs are all stuffed in his face. It's the Amazon delivery. Oh, what have we got now, Max? By lunchtime, Max is starving. Scrummy lice rice, I can't wait. He slurps it super fast before the lice straw crawl off his plate. <laughs> he bought the monster's cookbook from some recipe ideas. The best was slimed eel noodles served with hairy fried bat's ears. I don't think I'd like that cooking book. To pickled worms and squashed fly jam, Max beams, hooray, yes, please. He spreads them on his crackers, poo, with smelly fish eye cheese. Ugh. That's an interesting picnic. <laughs> oh my goodness, what has he got now? So delicious, gurgles Max, with a massive goo-filled grin. Cold, crunchy cockroach curry dri dri dribbling down his chin. I'm glad we've all eaten. <laughs> Tadpole, ice cream, snail trail sauce, things that squirm and slurp. They all mix in his tummy. Look out! Here comes a burp. Oh, pardon you, Max. Rats... Oh, have I missed a page? Oh, no, I haven't. Rats tail pizza, blue mould chips, bug burgers are treat. But when it comes to tea time, there's just one thing he will eat. Oh, what's it going to be, boys and girls? Oh, there it is. Squiggly spider sandwiches. He shoves them in so fast. He eats their, <laughs> he eats their heads and sticky webs, but saves their legs for last. <laughs> Max will eat up anything that oozes gunk and gloop. 
but even monsters gasp, no thanks, when faced with green sprout soup. <laughs> Even Max doesn't want to eat that. The end. Spider sandwiches. Well, that was a little bit interesting. I hope you've all had your dinner. Hmm, I don't think I'll be having a spider sandwich or lice rice very soon. No, I think I'll stick to having a cheese and ham sandwich. But it was quite funny though, wasn't it? <laughs> right, boys and girls, I'll be back on Sunday for the last story of the October holidays. And then next week, woohoo, we're all back to school and nursery and Karen's classes start and it's Halloween week. Woo! So we'll make sure we come. Hopefully I've got a story for Halloween on Sunday. So until then, enjoy the rest of your holidays and sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Night-night. Take care. Bye-bye.